A piece of Canadian history is up for sale. The birthplace of the iconic Macintosh apple in Dundella, Ontario, is listed for over $800,000, but the property has fallen into severe disrepair, and some fear its history could be lost to the elements. Nancy McIntosh is the great-great-granddaughter of John McIntosh, who discovered the apple. She joins us today from Long Sioux, Ontario. Nancy, good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning, Marcia. So we know that the farm is no longer in your family's possession. What, though, is the story behind this property? How did it get into such a sorry state? My mother sold it to a nice young couple in 1974, and they were going to have a hobby farm. Uh, they then left and sold it to uh, the present owner, I believe, and it just hasn't been looked after. It, instead of being moder modernized and fixed up, it's just been left to fall into disrepair. This must be heartbreaking for you to see. Oh, very. I, I don't drive by ever. I, it just breaks my heart. So are you concerned about the history of this place, that it will be lost? Oh yes, we, we lose so much Canadian history by this type of thing happening. It's such a shame. There are monuments on the property, all kinds of accolades to the property, and there it is all falling down. What would you like to see happen to it? Um, I'd like to see somebody buy it who would fix up the house, modernize it, and somebody live in it and um, allow people to visit the monuments. Of course, it would be lovely if it was a small park with walking paths and history, but you know, we, we hope for what we can get. And we're looking at pictures, some of the historical document, documents that you saved from the property. So what does Macintosh mean to Canadians, do you think, and, and really people around the world? Um, I think it means the sort of best apple ever, of course. <laughs> anyway, I think the, the fact that the Macintosh apple became so famous really elevated apples in the whole fruit thing. You know, the Macintosh was the biggest apple, the best apple, the biggest selling apple, and it's paved the way for all the other types of varieties of apples. So I'm curious about the background of the actual apple. Was it on the property or, or your family created this certain type of apple that went on to become the Macintosh? How did, how did it all grow? <laughs> it wasn't created. Uh, when John Macintosh and his wife moved onto the property, they found a whole bunch of apple seedlings. They transplanted them into their garden and the, they grew a few that survived. And one, when it got to be older, 15, 20 years, had really, really good apples on it. And Wow. So from a, a Mac to a Mick, are you always ready for a I'm joke a when people say, oh, it's spelled just like the apple? <laughs> <laughs> no, usually I say just spelled just like the apple because people want to put an A in it. And along the way, the, Mac, the apple became the Macintosh Apple MC. Yeah. And that's the way it is. It's a Mac. It's a Mac. All right. Well, thank you so much and all the best. Uh, we'll continue to follow what happens with this property. As you point out, it is important. Uh, it is an important part of our Canadian history. Nancy McIntosh joining us from Long Sioux, Ontario. Thank you.